How's it going, everybody? Angelo here, and uh, I'm going to be showcasing uh, a brand new soap ball to me, a brand new company that um, I guess they've been around, which has been uh, Lockhart's, and they're actually a uh, Michigan company. So, and I want to say they are right in Durand, Michigan. So, yes, this is their barbershop uh, shave soap. So look at that label. Isn't that awesome? It's got the pompadour and everything going on. So uh, Lockhart's has always been known for making pomades. And they're getting into um, the shave soap game. So definitely go check them out. And I'm going to put the link in the description. Uh, check these guys out. But uh, yeah. So I have this stuff. Oh my god. Look at that pour. If you know barbershops, this is going to run into with that... Uh, like classic kind of powdery, uh, very bright, uplifting type of uh, barbershop scent. Oh yeah, love very, very good, very good. Uh, I love a good barbershop and this does not disappoint. It's a softer type of uh, soap, almost like a, a crope, so like a softer cream. So if you've used anything like uh, maybe uh, like the softer um, Taylor Roll Bond Street maybe, or actually softer than that, maybe like Cella in the, um, in the uh in the bowl so yeah and what i'm going to be using i have it lathered up already in my fine accoutrements bowl right here with my aka and my jade green works follow the color scheme um and this has the ak5 synthetic knot absolutely love that knot uh, let me see here. I'm going to be using Fine Accoutrements, uh, American Blend. Uh, there, this is the barbershop. And it's got a little bit more bite as far as more crisp type of, uh, barbershop scent to it. And because I, I don't have the aftershave for, uh, the Lockhart's. So, and then for hardware, I'm going to be using my Copper Cant with Plus Plate. And I have it loaded with a, uh, Wilkinson Sword in the... Uh, comes in the uh, the black little plastic container, uh, that one there. So I got that. It's going to be on my second use. So, but yes, let's get this going. Get some water on the face. And this is a morning shave. So before I start my day, kids off to school, wife is off to work, and before I started, I wanted to have a good shave because. I mean, I have the pleasure of being able to work from home most of the time. Um, my job right now, and uh, you know, I want to be able to take advantage of this time for some self care uh, and get into a good shape. But also, I wanted to make this video so you guys can check out, uh, get to know Lockhart a little bit. Ooh, that went way over there. <laughs> um, I was actually uh, gifted this soap from Marcus and Sarah, the amazing, the, the barbershop duet. Uh, they had uh, done this. They had gotten it because Marcus likes, you know, he he's uh, like the rest of us. He's an enthusiast. He's a, and, you know, he was looking for something different. And he's like, you know what? I don't think I've seen this much, this uh, company around that much. And it just happened to be, you know, a Michigan company. So he, he contacted me. He's like, brother, you got to check these guys out. And how have you not found them yet? And they're in Michigan. <laughs> so and I'm like, well, I will definitely give them a go. And then he's like, you know what? Don't worry about it. I got you taken care of. And he actually got me the soap from the razor company. Um, and uh, where my wife, uh, she works there too. And she, um, yeah. So she brought it home. So Marcus had, had purchased it. Uh, him and Sarah had bought it and was like, hey, go, man, give it a go. And I'm like, God, that's so awesome. That's what I love about this community. People like that, people like Marcus and Sarah. Uh -huh. If you haven't subscribed, go check them out. Absolutely love their take in the, in the community and the shave game, uh, the barbershop duet. And they do amazing. They just hit their 200th episode. And during that uh, premiere, those three episodes that just passed, uh, on Wednesday, and that would be the 12th of March, 2024. Uh, this was one of the soaps that they reviewed. So I thought that was really cool. So I'm like, he's like, you got to try it out. But yes, thank you, Marcus and Sarah. All right. 
And yeah, I mean, it is a great smelling, bright barbershop scent. It's got that that powdery scent reminiscent of uh, Sterling's uh, Barbershop or Bricktown Grooming's um, Lafayette. It's got that little bit of deep back note to it. But uh, this here, I, I, yeah. Uh, if you have the set, you know, it's awesome. Comment below, tell me what you think of Lockhart's. But this feels really nice. Uh, I got about three days of growth. And... Um, This Ellsworth plus plate, this, this uh, copper can, just goes right through, smooth. I can literally go one pass with this and be done, um, but I want to enjoy this soap <laughs> So, and this razor. But yes, plus also too, I mean, AKA brushes, I, I can't get over um, how awesome and yet another michigan company this is a michigan shave today guys um with the exception of uh fine i think they're out of uh, uh yeah they're out of new york but either way close enough <laughs> but uh you know aka they're right there out of uh claire michigan and then you have um lockhart's where they these guys are out of uh guess that's out of uh durand michigan so and i am in southeast uh, which would be Oxford. Here we go. So, when I'm out and about after work today, people in Oxford here are going to be like, that smells good. What is that? I'm going to be like, it's Lockhart's. Go check them out. They're local. <laughs> Yeah, very well done. That pretty good amount of slickness to it. Glides really well with this bomb. With this razor, I mean the plus plate's a little bit more efficient than the standard plate, uh, which I would use because like I said, I got about, about two, three days worth of growth. So it, yeah, provides the glide that I need. Well done, Lockhart. Well done. I'm telling you guys, my hair's getting longer. I'm letting it grow out because I want to be able to indulge in this whole other, uh, this whole other, um, like line of products. I mean, there's companies like this that do like the pomades and stuff like that. I mean, don't get me wrong. I have my Tres Flores. So uh, if you guys know me, that's my staple. So this is what all the men in my family grew up. I grew up seeing them use. And um, it's a liquid brilliotine. A little bit like maybe a few drops. And I put it into my hair, you'll see. But uh, starting to see a lot more of these pomade companies, uh, barbers. Um, you know, you got out there like Filoso, Suavecito, um, The Holy Black. Um, I mean, there's just, you know, all these companies, then Lockhart's. I mean, you're seeing these companies that are out there that are probably, you know, focused for like, you know, for barbers. I mean, because you got to remember too, barbers, I mean, they're using the, um, you know, the Chevette's, Straight razors, more or less the Chevette's, you know, for um, sanitary reasons when they're, you know, when, uh, when they're barbering. And, you know, they're using, uh, you know, products. So they're kind of doing wet shaving in a sense because they're, you know, they're lining you up and everything like that. Whether it be like this or if they're using like a, um, a lather machine that a lot of the barbershop still wear. I mean, still wear, still use. And, um... You know, you'll see uh, also, oh, they use like a clear type of shave cream or shave oil. I mean, all these different things that are out there that they're using. And they're using, you know, Chevette's stuff like, um, you know, like Feathers or Focus or 
uh, Irving. I need to get an Irving, by the way. I still don't have one. So, I mean, you know, they're using all these different types of things. So, I mean, they're starting getting into getting to making their own shape soaps. And this Lockhart is one of them. Um, so, yeah, I highly advise to go check them out, especially if you are, um, you know, a barber, hairdresser, stylist, or just like myself, a wet shaving, traditional shaving enthusiast, hobbyist, lifestyle uh, person, people, thing. Uh, go check them out because uh, you will not be disappointed. Great base. Feels really good. This is a uh, this is a tallow base. So, but they got all the, you know, the different oils. You got the castor oil, coconut oil, shea butter, and uh, uh, cocoa butter. And I do know that. I know some people sometimes when they're looking at stuff when it has the cocoa butter or coconut oil uh, as far as clogging and I just do a quick rinse right here in my sink and there's no clogging. So uh, do keep that in mind. This is a great, great base. There's no clogging or anything like that with my razor here. So yeah, it's, yep, check them out. So, all right, let's get the second pass going. Oh yeah, just check my time real fast. Clock in time is 9 a.m., folks. And Monday through Friday. There we go. Ah, man. This is how you start your day, folks. If you, I mean, one of the ways. But also, you gotta have good coffee, too. So, um, definitely get. If, you, if you're a morning shaver, you know, get yourself a good shave in the morning. Smelling good, looking good, feeling good. Yeah. Man, I got that just perfect. Just goes right over. I'm loving this scent. I love, I, I need to get more barbershops. As much as I love barbershops, I actually don't own that many, which is funny. Um... <laughs> You know, I have a lot of everything else, but I actually only have a few um, barbershops. So, this is up there. This is going to be a staple. Oh, yeah. Listen to that. It goes right through. Wow. That is good. That is good. Be careful here, because my chin, this spot here, is going to be prone to be sensitive, so I got to be careful there. And it, it's, you know, it's that one spot in your, your chin, between your chin and your lip. Um, so, always take care. Right there. Oh, wow. That is nice. That is nice, guys. All right. So, now we're going to do... A little upwards here. This is actually across the grain. I know I mentioned this in some other videos, but um, for my skin pattern, I mean my growth pattern, sorry, coffee still need to kick in. Uh, this is actually across the grain. Now if I went this direction, that's with, I mean that's against the grain. Um, so I always, you know, advocate to know your grain pattern to know when you're shaving which way is up, you know, which way is cross. So, mm. it help cut down and nix irritation, ingrown, stuff like that. So, there we go. So know your grain map. Um, let your beard grow for two, three days. Maybe four days, depending on, you know, the, how your hair grows. I mean, mine is very dark, coarse, two, three days, and yeah, you know, I can tell. So, I mean, I'll get to, I can see exactly which way it goes what, and I, you know, know. So, I did that very early on, get to know my grain man. So, and it works. It helps you, like I said, to cut down on the, uh, like the irritation and everything like that, but also to 
a good soap makes a lot of difference as well. So uh, do keep that in mind. Cheers. Mm. Victor Coffee, uh, veteran owned. Go check them out. Uh, black, plenty of it. That's how you drink it. That's how you drink your coffee, folks. Well, I do. So, <laughs> all right. I'm going to let this drain. I'm going to rinse. Oh, wow. There's a lot of residual slipness here, guys. Look at that sheen. Wow. Well done. Well done, Lockhart's. And I think what it is, too, that what they're saying on their sales page is that they, they, they held off from releasing because they wanted to put something out on the market um, that would compete with a lot of the artisans out there. And I think they did a very good job. Um, I mean, as far as like bass, scent, stuff like that, there's a lot of heavy hitters out there in the, uh, in the shave game. You know, I mean, we're living right now, 2024. I mean, we are living in a very, you know, prime time when it comes to, um, to wet shaving, to products and stuff that's made available and at affordable prices. Like right now, as of today, I think this here is only about, it's 1599 and this is a, a four ounce, um, 113 grams. So yeah, beautiful pour. I scoop. So, I mean, you know. For, you know, fifteen ninety nine American, you got a lot of shaves out of this, and it smells really, really good. Performs really well as you saw. So, but let's finish up with this. If they have an aftershave. I gotta get it because uh, it smells really good, and I can pair it up, mix and match, uh, which sometimes I do. So, oh man, that feels good. Oh, that smells amazing. Yes. Woo. That's nice. That is very nice. That was a good pairing right there. Man. Lockhart's Authentic. Go check them out. Um, got a, I, From what I saw, they're going to be releasing a few more uh, soaps as well. Different kinds. So keep an eye out. Go check them out. Uh, but also, you get into the pomade game. Go check them out as well. And but also too, if you haven't subscribed yet, um, go to check out uh, the barbershop duet, Marcus and Sarah. <laughs> you will not be disappointed. Those guys are amazing. And like I said, to start the day, you gotta get a little bit of the flores in the hair. I'ma see. There we go. Like I said, I don't have any pomade yet. My hair is still growing out. I mean, I usually keep I had my hair growing. I mean, I always with the one guard. That's the, you know, right there, boom. So just getting to be able to, I used to have longer hair when I was, you know, teenager. Um, but uh, it feels good to have hair again. So I'm excited to see for a whole other journey when it comes to this. All right, ah, I'm smelling good. All right, folks, you guys take care. Again, Mangelo, thank you for hanging out with me with this shave. And um, you guys take care of each other. Have a good day. I'm going to enjoy mine. Nos vemos. Have a good day.